Thank you for joining me for this JFrog support video. Today we will be learning how to use Gradle with Artifactory. In this video, we will cover three topics. The first is to set up the Artifactory repositories that we'll be using for our Gradle project. The second is to resolve these dependencies for the project using Artifactory. And the third is to publish the build information and artifacts of the Gradle pro project to Artifactory. Okay, let's start by creating the Gradle repositories in Artifactory. We will do this by using the quick setup, which creates remote, local, and virtual repositories at the same time. Let's use the test prefix, and it will create these five different local, remote, and virtual repositories. Create and they're all created successfully. Next, we want to demonstrate how to resolve dependencies for the Gradle project from Artifactory. In order to demonstrate this, I will be using the JFrog project examples GitHub project that can be found at this link. And I will include a link in the description of the video. We are going to be using the Gradle examples folder and the Gradle example minimal project. Let's get started. In order to demonstrate using Gradle with Artifactory, we will be utilizing the JFrog project examples, specifically the Gradle example minimal. I have cloned this to my local machine, and let's get started editing these files. Let's clear this. And we are going to be using the build.gradle file and changing some of these repository locations to use Artifactory. So the first thing we're going to do is change this repository to our local instance of Artifactory. So here I have put in my URL. And um, I've used a DNS here for the artifactory.gradle. And JCenter, if you remember, is the remote repository we created when we did the quick setup for Gradle. So now we should be able to build, our, build the Gradle project and it will use Artifactory as the remote repository instead of the default Maven Central. Gradle build, we are also gonna refresh the dependencies so that everything will be freshly installed. And then we'll, we'll show the info to show more information. Let's see where everything is, is uh, resolved from. And as we can see here, everything is downloaded using the Artifactory repository. Next, we are going to discuss publishing artifacts and build information to Artifactory. In order to do this, let's update the location that Gradle will use to push the artifacts. We're going to go back to the build.gradle file. And now we are going to change these, repos these repositories as follows. First, we're going to change this URL to our Artifactory instance. And our now the URL points to our Artifactory and specifically the test Gradle development virtual repository. Next, we are going to change the context URL down here. We can just change this to our Gradle Artifactory.gradle URL. The next step is to change the location that we would like to push artifacts to in Artifactory. We will do this by specifying the repository key in this block. And our local repository is called test gradle dev local. So now we will save this and we will run the gradle 
artifactory publish command. And here we should see the artifacts being deployed to, to artifactory, as well as the build information being deployed to artifactory. Now let's see what this looks like in the UI. Let's go to our repository first. And remember, we, we pushed to test Gradle dev local. And here are the artifacts that we pushed from our sample project. Next, we can see the build information. If we go on builds, Gradle example minimal, and this was just built a minute ago. Thank you again for joining me for this tutorial. Have a great day.